So I get home from work and I have like 10 comments on my latest haul video and half of them are saying that I need to film a wonder book talk. So here I am. Um, I'm going to insert a clip of a video that I filmed immediately after I finished it. I look really beautiful. So here's the clip. I really, really loved this book. Um, this was a recommendation from Dylan Books, and he kind of lost his positive track record for a while there because he recommended me and Earl and the Dying Girl. And I didn't really like that book at all. Like, not at all. So I was like, I don't know, Dylan. Are your recommendations going to work for me? Like, can I trust you? I can because this book was amazing. <laughs> it's about a little boy who's in fifth grade who has severe facial deformities to do a like one in a million combination of a bunch of weird genetics and he is going to school for the first time. The thing about this the story is that I read the first half and I like really enjoyed it and there were parts that I like kind of maybe got a little bit teary teary the parts that I got a little bit teary but there's nothing that was really like oh my god this is so great like the first half of the book is a lot of building and a lot of um, explanation not really a lot of emotion but the second half of the book, you just get so much um, out of it. Ugh. Like, ugh, ugh. This is such a character-driven book. And the satisfaction that you get out of a clean story arc is immense in this. Like, I talk about a lot how I feel like, like arcs were missing or like how I feel like there's an undeveloped character arc or like stuff like that. And I feel like if... You know, I, like, it's hard for me to explain what I mean by that, but if you've read Mean Earl and the Dying Girl, I felt like that was a very underdeveloped arc. I felt like there wasn't, like, the full, like, the circle didn't go, but, like, with Wonder, the circle went. Like, it went full circle. This all, it, it all came together. Like, the characters had growth and, like, over time, and I, I, I felt very whole after reading this. I cried at two different parts of the story. If you don't want to know, spoilers, I'll put a thing that says spoilers, you can mute it. I cried when the dog died. Like, Daisy, oh, how sad. Like, dogs dying every time it gets me. Secondly, um, I cried, of course, at the end. Who doesn't cry at the end? It was brilliant. That's why I was, like, basically crying in that video, because <laughs> it was so good. I hate Julian with a passion. He sucks. Um, I love Summer. I love Jack. I taught a little boy how to swim this summer who, um, who was named Jack and I just envisioned kind of like an older version of him and Jack was kind of a, um, I don't want to call him a dick. He's like three years old but he was kind of a dick. And <laughs> um, <laughs> this Jack was not a bad person. He was not a dick. Um, so I really enjoyed him and uh, I'm in love with August in the best possible way and if I could parent with like a glimpse of what these parents had in this book I will be so immensely happy. Children are a really really big part of my life. I have taught some lessons at a local pool for the past four years. I coach a junior high color guard. I spend a lot of time with kids. I wanted to be a teacher for a long time. Not doing that anymore but um, to read so accurately from a child's perspective is a really unique experience and there is nothing like this book out there. There You will never find anything else that is as accurate and like poignant and just it's just beautiful. This is just a beautiful story, beautifully written and to read from the perspective of so many brilliant children is truly special and an experience. You have to buy this. I bought it twice. I'm telling you. I don't buy books twice. I, bu I bought it twice. Like, clearly this is a good book. I bought it twice. I lost it. I bought it again. If I find it, I'm giving this away. I probably will give this away nonetheless. Wonder. That's how I felt about it. Hopefully this is short. I hope you liked it. I'll see you later. I'll look at my cheek. Alrighty, bye.